Well, coming out of New York, the state Senate passed a bill that creates a new crime, aggravated harassment of a police officer. This bill makes it a felony to harass, annoy, or threaten a cop while on duty. Well, State Senator Joe Griffo had this to say about his bill. We need to make it very clear that when a police officer is performing his duty, every citizen needs to comply, and the refusal to comply carries a penalty. Well, the slippery slope of defining harassment may lead to major issues concerning police power and how this affects basic civil rights. Lori Harfin is host of The Resident. Joined me earlier to discuss the latest, and I started off by asking her, how are they defining harassment? Sure. So I have the ac actual verbiage of the bill here, and it states that one is guilty of aggravated harassment of an officer when, with the intent to harass, annoy, threaten, or alarm, he or she strikes, shoves, kicks, or otherwise subjects such a person to physical contact. So basically, any physical contact is the definition of annoying. Okay. We were discussing this earlier, and I wanted to, I wanted to toss this at you. So police have had some issues with people recording them, their actions, photographing them. Do, does that constitute harassment? No, unless you touch the cop in some way, shape, or form. If, as long as you don't touch them, you're okay. But any kind of touching, whether you know you brush against them when you're passing them, whatever, just as long as you don't touch them. All right. Okay. Uh, well, accidentally bumping into a cop may not constitute harassment. Is that right? Yeah. No, it, it could. That's the whole thing. The, the point about this, it, it being such a travesty, is that it's yet again another example of vague legislation that's written so poorly that you have to question whether the, they're just so stupid when they're writing it or they're so smart where they build in these ways to act however they want. And that's what's going on here. It's vague legislation that you can interpret any way you want. If you touch a cop in any way, shape, or form, you could be arrested. All right. How are they planning on enforcing this? Do you know? Uh, well, that has yet to be seen, like any piece of vague legislation. One never knows exactly how it's going to be enforced, but we do know that you could be arrested for a Class E felony under this new bill. All right, so speaking of enforcement, Lori, we have a clip we want to play. I can't, I paid for it. What? Where's the camera? What? Want to help this guy out? No, I'm just recording. Let's go over there. This is my rights. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking, all right? right. You report me now. You asked who I was. I'm telling you who I am. Here's my identification. Step over here. I don't need to step over there for you to see my identification. Take it, take it, take it. Stop recording me. Now you step over to the camera. All right, Lori, your expert opinion. What we just saw, could that constitute harassment under this bill? Uh, no, actually, because the person holding the camera didn't uh, reach out and touch the officers. Uh, you know, in my personal opinion, whether or not that was harassing or annoying. Let's not forget annoying is part of this new bill. That's, you know, neither here nor there. But the bottom line is it's all about physical contact. Okay. And that is where the line is drawn. Got it. You have to touch them. Okay, got it. All right, I want to talk about this Class E felony really quickly. If a person's found guilty of this, of this crime of harassing a cop, what happens to them? I mean, what could potentially happen? Uh, they could face up to four years in prison. Oh, that's... That's refreshing. <laughs> a, little, a little alarming there. So were there any dissenting opinions that you know of in this assembly, or was it just all gung-ho for this bill? Well, the committee vote was 11 to 4, and the floor vote was 50 to 13. So there was some dissent, but it was a, a, a large, overwhelming number of eyes. Well, that was the RT's Lori Harfinist.